The story starts in a hospital. The doctor was surprised by how pretty the baby's face is, and the next second, everyone in the hospital that sees his faces are dead. This is Max, and he has a condition that could kill people as soon as they see his face. Max moved into this town that's far away from the city with his family when he was two. His parents had to cover up his face so that no one would see it. To be able for their son to be a normal teenager, Max's parents took him to a psychologist for help. Obviously, the doctor does not believe that someone could kill people because they are too pretty, and he thinks that Max's behavior is a manifestation of depression. And Max gives in. He took off the bandages in front of the psychologist, and in just a few seconds, he fell on the ground and died. Things like this happen all the time around Max, but taking off the bandage and letting people look at your face isn't a crime, so even the police can't do anything about it. Max starts to lock himself up in his room and practice embroidery every day. Max's parents feel sorry for their son. They wish that Max can go out and make some new friends. At night, Max handed his friend, Dan, a brick, and he tells him to hit his face with it. He wants to destroy his face. At first, Dan doesn't agree to his plan. Max went upset and hit Dan's phone. The outraged Dan finally picks up the brick and smashed on Max's face. And all he broke was Max's nose. Max's mom had to take him to the hospital, and he met a girl in the hospital. At this time, Max has no idea that the girl will change his whole life. It is Valentine's Day. To be able to get Max out of his house, his friend Dan arranged a blind date for him with a girl named Rebecca. This is Max's first ever date in his life. He was super nervous and didn't know how to act. Unfortunately, they run into Rebecca's ex-boyfriend, Craig. Craig was mad when he sees his ex-girlfriend is trying to date other people, so he spilled the drink on the table and pushed Max's face on it. After the unfortunate incident, Craig finally left the restaurant, and the girl Rebecca left too after she rejects Max. All of this left Max very upset. He's so sad and went to a bridge. He cries out loud, and for a moment, it seems he wants to jump off and kill himself. But before he jumps, a girl walks by, and that's the same girl he saw at the hospital the other day. Her name is Alex. Instead of comforting Max, Alex sprinkles a bag of candy and she told Max that he needs a higher bridge to kill himself. Max chickened out. He realizes that he doesn't want to die. Alex saw that Max gives up the idea of killing himself, so she walks away. Max is fascinated by the girl in front of him and he followed her to a care facility for the elderly. Everyone in here are so kind and nice to him. They're all willing to talk to him, who has stupid bandages around his face. And after spending time with Alex, at the end of the day, Max fell in love with Alex. Max came back to the bus station to wait for Alex. He wants to hang out with her again. Alex misses her bus, and she decided to give Max a chance. And there, they are having their first date. A tiring but happy day goes by. They are lying in a bathtub with candies. Max confides his condition to Alex, that he kills people with his pretty face. Alex didn't show any fear or despise him at all. Instead, she shares her secret to Max. Turns out, Alex has a rare heart disease. She can't get excited, otherwise her heart will get bigger. That is why she always wears many layers of clothes, because there is a heart rate monitor underneath. One is wrapped with bandages, and the other is suppressed by a machine. Their births are like a joke from the god, yet their existence is so important to each other. They listen to music, drink alcohol, and watch movies together. They enjoy the time they spend together. Max took Alex back to his house. She slowly takes off his sunglasses. When the two innocent eyes meet, the atmosphere between them gradually warmed up. However, Max's parents do not know the existence of Alex. They brought him home a friend, an exchange student, just so he will have someone to hang out with. And just like that, they arrived home late at night and interrupt their romantic date. Max's parents are truly shocked by the girl in front of them, but at the same time, they feel so happy for their son. Alex accidentally hurt her finger while they were hiking. Max took off the bandage on his face and wraps the wound for Alex. Her heart starts beating fast, and that proves their relationship got stronger. At night, Alex asks to see Max's face. Max slowly takes off his bandages. He holds Alex's hand and led her to touch his face. She kisses him softly. But this kiss added to the burden on Alex's heart, and she has to come to the hospital for a follow-up consultation. Alex covered up the fact that she has to go to the hospital to Max, and she rejected his invitation by telling him she has to clean up her room. At the same time, Yushin, the exchange student that Max's parents brought home, accidentally set a branch on fire. And Dan burned his hand when he put out the fire. And then, Dan and Max are in the hospital for Dan's hand. They run into Alex and her mom. Alex acted very cold to Max the whole time in front of her mom. Max is very sad about that. 
and when he goes to the store with his dad to buy the dad's favorite toy, dad told Max the story of how he approached to Max's mom, and he thinks that Max should tell Alex how he truly feels about her. Max was encouraged by his dad, he asks out Alex and tries to clear up the misunderstanding between them. But when they arrive to the caring facility, one of the elderly, Rosemary, is dying of disease. Alex has a great bond with Rosemary, and she doesn't want her to die in pain. The moment Alex looks at Max, he understands what she wants to ask. She wants Max to show Rosemary his face so that she would die painless. She thinks this is the best way for Rosemary because she won't feel anything. Max struggles for a while, but in the end, he walks up to Rosemary's bed, he holds the nice lady's hand, and takes off his bandages. In a few seconds, she passes away. However, ever since that day, the pain of losing Rosemary and the fact that Max became the reason for her death made the two stop contacting each other. Max feels anxious about it, but he does not know what to do. But Dan is a straightforward guy. He sent a text message to Alex using Max's phone, helping him to ask her out. When they meet again, Max finally knows what went wrong. Him and his relationship with Alex has caused huge burden on Alex's heart. Her heart has been growing bigger, and the doctors have to keep increasing the dose on her. Max blames himself for what happened. He asks if there's something he can do for Alex, and she says she wants to go to the prom with him. They both look forward to it, and when it finally comes, Max takes off his bandages and put on his mask. They walk in the prom, enjoying the wonderful moment, with hand in hand, and they were cuddling each other. But the good times are always short, Alex suddenly runs away and left Max there. She wipes off the blood coming out from her nose, left the prom with panic. Alex never came back for him, and that made Max feel very upset. He stands at the front door of the ballroom alone, and at this time, he saw a familiar face. It was the guy named Craig from the restaurant. Craig was still aggressive and violent towards Max. He grabbed Max's neck and takes off his mask. However, a girl was in front of Max, saw his face, and she died in a sudden. The prom became a mess, and Max was taken by the police. When he left the police station, he headed straight to the hospital. Alex is waiting for him. Max saw Alex's medicine and found that they are not for heart, but for stomach cancer. He suddenly realized that the whole time Alex has been lying to him. Alex has the disease ever since she was a little girl. Her illness determined that she would never have a normal life until she met Max. And when she realizes that she doesn't have much time left, she doesn't want to become his burden. She looks at him the same way the day Rosemary dies. She wants him to kill her the same way he did before. And most importantly, she wants to see the face of the boy she loves deeply. But Max rejects her. He can't bear killing another person using his face, especially when it's Alex. He is nearly collapsed. He comes home and keeps smacking his face with a brick. He wants to destroy his face. Max's parents hold him tightly, but Max's heart is broken. Even his cat died because it saw his face. Maybe his face is a curse that he can never break free. Ever since that day, Max refuses to contact with Alex. He soaks himself in a bathtub full with candies and tries to avoid the reality. But Alex's condition has gone worse every day. Max couldn't hold back his love for her. He brings the embroidery he made for her as promised. He lays in her bed and they are facing each other, quietly says goodbye. It is time. Max told Alex to close her eyes and start to take off the bandages. At the last moment of Alex's life, they kiss each other for goodbye. Alex slowly opens her eyes. She finally saw Max's face, the mixed feeling of reluctant and excitement showing on her face. Although Alex didn't die right when she sees his face, the exciting feeling was unbearable for her heart. She passed away. After her funeral, Max came back to the bridge where they met. He dumps the letters he wrote for her in the river. This is his final goodbye to her. Max was acquitted in the court all the charges against him were dropped. He is once again free. This case has also made more people know about Max, and many people hope that Max can help their relatives in the same way. Max finally understands that with a face like this is not just a curse. He can still help people in a different way. Therefore, he accepts all these requests and offers help when people need him. He reveals his face to dying people so that they can die feeling happy and painless. At the end of the story, Max is still seeing a psychologist but the difference is that he finally took off the bandages covering on his heart. He finally has hope for his life, and he wants to live a better life along with his love to Alex.